హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు టీ వన్ ఛానల్ మరి ఇన్ ద శాతవాహనాస్ ఎంపైర్ శాతవాహన ఎంపైర్లో ఎఫ్ఎస్ఏ దేశ శాతవాహనాస్ ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ రూల్లో ఇన్ దిస్ డైనాస్టీ దట్ ఈస్ యజ్ఞశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి సో హ్యాడ్ రిమెంబర్ ద నేమ్ యజ్ఞశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ రూల్లో ఇన్ దిస్ డైనాస్టీ ట్వంటీ సెవెంత్ రూలర్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైనాస్టీ యజ్ఞశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి ఓకే దిస్ యజ్ఞశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి so there is bhava gopa he was the uh, chief commander that you know well bhava gopa who was the chief commander of this agnasri shatakarni in the period of this agnasri shatakarni things went well international trade and commerce that developed well like that we can say with rome java malaya sumatra sri lanka etc countries what happened trade and commerce that advanced well in the period of this one so agnasri shatakarni period so things went well like that we can say so got idea so like that all these important things they happened in the period of this one he gave two important inscriptions yagnasri shatakarni gave two important inscriptions inscriptions given by this one what are the important inscriptions given by this one china ganjam inscription that is one china ganjam china ganjam inscription that is one and guntupalli inscription that's one guntupalli chinaganjam guntupalli inscriptions they are given by this one one is chinaganjam one is guntupalli these two inscriptions are given by this one got idea so like this so all important points you have to remember so matsyapurana kala there is collated during his period like that so this matsyapurana that is compiled in this period like that it was said you know well మత్స్య పురాణ సెట్ దాట్ దర్ ఆర్ థర్టీ రూలర్స్ ఇన్ ది శాతవాహనాస్ శాతవాహనంలో ముప్పై మంది పాలకులు ఉన్నారని చెప్పినటువంటి పురాణం ఏది అంటే మత్స్య పురాణం అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం మరి ఇతని కాలంలోనే అది రాయబడింది అనే వాదన కూడా సో కనిపిస్తుంది సో ఇట్స్ కంపైల్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ సో దిస్ వన్ అని చెప్పేసి సో తెలియజేసినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇదంతా కూడా మరి ఉంది అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం సో ఇతని కాలంలో మరి శాతవాహన స్ప్రిన్స్ అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం సో అకార్డింగ్ టు దేస్ కథా సరిత్ సాగర్ ఆ సోమదేవ సో సోమదేవ ఓకే సోమదేవ సూరి రాసినటువంటి కథా సరిత్ సాగర్ అసాసినేటెడ్ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున అని తెలుస్తుంది బట్ సో సమ్ సెట్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ట్రూ ఓకే సో బికాస్ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున హి వాస్ ప్యాటర్నైజ్డ్ బై దేస్ సెగ్నశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి ఇన్ ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ యజ్ఞశ్రీ శాతకర్ణి ఓన్లీ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున లివ్డ్ ఆచార్య నాగార్జున okay this acharya nagarjuna was a buddhist monk and mahayana buddhism that was propagated by this acharya nagarjuna acharya nagarjuna propagate chesinatundi edi ante this mahayana buddhism ani cheppes annam fourth buddhist council ee fourth buddhist council aina tarvatane he came to the court of this yagnasri shatakarni itani aasthanamlone unnatluga telustundi mari yagnasri shatakarni idani kosam nirmanam chesinatundi aashramam పారావత్ పారావత్ ఆశ్రమాన్ని నిర్మాణం చేయడం జరిగింది అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం సో పారావత్ ఆశ్రమం అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం విహార బిల్ట్ సో అండ్ శ్రీ పర్వత శ్రీ పర్వతం అంటే నాగార్జున కొండ ఈ నాగార్జున కొండకి ఏమని పేరు ఉంది అంటే శ్రీ పర్వతము అని అన్నారు శ్రీ పర్వతం అంటే నాగార్జున కొండ అందుకే శ్రీ పర్వతాన్ని సో దేస్ ఎక్కువగా చేసింది ఇక్ష్వాకులు శ్రీ పర్వతి యాస్ అన్నారు వాళ్ళను దే వర్ కాల్డ్ శ్రీ పర్వతి యాస్ లైక్ దాట్ ఇట్ వాస్ సాడ్ పార్వత్ ఆశ్రమాన్ని ఎవరి కోసం ఏర్పాటు చేశాడు మరి వీళ్ళ కోసం అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం సో ఫాహియాన్స్ అకౌంట్ దెర్వర్ సో ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ రూమ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ విహార ఇది ఐదంతస్తుల భవనం అని తెలుస్తుంది ఓకే ఫాహియాన్ రాసినటువంటి సో దిస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ బుక్స్ ఫాహియాన్ విజిటెడ్ ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ చంద్రగుప్త టూ చైనీస్ ట్రావెలర్ ఈ ఫాహియన్ ఎవరంటే చైనీస్ ట్రావెలర్ అని చెప్పేసి అంటున్నాం ఈ ఫాహియన్ రాసినటువంటి ద రికార్డ్ ఆఫ్ బుద్ధిస్ట్ కింగ్డమ్ ద రికార్డ్ ఆఫ్ బుద్ధిస్ట్ కింగ్డమ్ అనే దాంట్లో ఈ పారావత్ ఆశ్రమం గురించి పేర్కొన్నట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది మరి పారావత్ ఆశ్రమం ఏమైనా ఆశ్రమం ఈస్ పారావత్ దిస్ పారావత్ ఆశ్రమ్ అని అన్నాం పారావత్ ఆశ్రమ్ సో దిస్ పారావత్ ఆశ్రమ్ అని చెప్పేసి అంటున్నాం దిస్ పారావత్ ఆశ్రమ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ రూమ్స్ దే ఆర్ దేర్ ఫైవ్ స్టోరీ బిల్డింగ్ లైక్ దాట్ ఇట్ వాస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ హౌ మెనీ రూమ్స్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ రూమ్స్ దే ఆర్ దేర్ లైక్
it was said. So how many rooms in the sense? 1500 rooms existed in this like that. That is one of the opinions. At the same time, it's five storied building. It's a five storied. It's a five storied building. Okay. So it's a five storied building like that. It is said. In a very story, 300 rooms they existed. Prati Antasulo Guda, Muduandra Gadulu, Natlagatelisundi. Ila Marie, E. Paravatasramani, airport Jason the Varanat Late. It was established by whom in the sense? It was established by this Egnus Ri Shatakarni. Egnus Ri Shatakarni airport Jason Natlaga, Telisundi and Jepesianum. Egnus Ri Shatakarni. Ever airport Jason Radini? Egnus Ri Shatakarni. Every Kosam airport Chedan Jarindi. It is where, so whom in the sense, it is where Acharya Nagarjuna, Acharya Nagarjuna Kosam, Acharya Nagarjuna Kosam, it is established for Acharya Nagarjuna. This Acharya Nagarjuna he was called Second Buddha, he was called Indian Einstein, he was called Indian Einstein, okay, and he was called Second Buddha. He is Second Buddha, he is called Second Buddha. Telusundi and Japesana. This Acharya Nagarjana, so there is he propagated Mahayana Buddhism. Acharya Nagarjana. This Acharya Nagarjana, he propagated, lived in the court of Agnesri, Shatagarni, and propagated. If that him propagate Chesadu, so there is Mahayana Buddhism, he propagate Chesadu. Mahayana Buddhism, that was propagated by this one. Mahayana Buddhism. मरी महायाना हीनायाना का ये पुरी थी चिली पहिंदी बुद्धिसम महायाना का हीनायाना का ये पुरी चिली पहिंदे नटे नाल का वो बहुत द संगीत थी लो इन फोर्थ बुद्धिस कंसल इट वाज स्प्लिट इनटू टू एस हीनायाना एंड महायाना हीनायाना पीपल बिलीव्ड दैट बुद्धा इज़ ओनली गुरु मास्टर मैसेंजर लाइक दैट दे बिलीव Allah Mari, this is the same thing as well, right? So, Acharya Nagarjuna Mari, number of books and you said already you know the books of Acharya Nagarjuna. What are the important books written by this Acharya Nagarjuna? One is Suhurul Lekha, Suhurul Lekha, Pragna Paramita Shastra, Pragna Paramita Shastra, Pragna Paramita Shastra, that's when, Sunya Saptadi, Mula Madhyamika Shastra, Rasa Ratnakaram, Arogya Manjari, Ratnavali Raja Parikata, like that. Number of books are written by, so this one, Acharya Nagarjuna. Okay, so they propagated Mahayana Buddhism and the books written by Suhruleka, Pragna Paramita Shastra, Sunya Saptadi, Sunya Saptadi, Mula Madhyamika Shastra, Mula Madhyamika, Mula Madhyamika Shastra. Mula Madhyamika Shastra. Okay, Mula Madhyamika Shastra, that's when Rasarat Nakaram, Arogya Manjari, Ratnavali, Rajabhat, like that. So many books are written by this Acharya Nagarjuna, that you know well. Like that, Acharya Nagarjuna lived in the court of, this Acharya Nagarjuna lived in the court of Yagnasri Shatakarni. Every asthanam lo nivasin chadante, Yagnasri Shatakarni asthanam lo nivasin chanatlaga telisundi and jepesi ani annam. Lived in the court of, lived in the court of Yagnasri Shatakarni asthanam lo nivasin chadam jarigindi and jepesi annam. Mari Yagnasri Shatakarni asthanam lo mari chusnet lai te. If you see this Yagnasri Shatakarni, this Yagnasri Shatakarni asthanam lo nivasin chadam jarigindi annam. So ship symbol coins, ship sailing symbol coins. Curtain ship symbol and Japan C and Yanam. Okay, there is Agnesri Shatakarni. Agnesri Shatakarni gave. Agnesri Shatakarni issued. Issued curtain ship symbol coins. Curtain ship symbol. Ship symbol coins. It indicates what in the sense international trade and commerce. It said about international. It said about. It said about international trade and commerce. Said about international. This international trade and commerce. Gurin chakvaga. Thiliye jaisindi enjapesi arnam. International trade and commerce. Gurin chhi. 
Okay, it said about international trade and commerce. So, international trade and commerce that was uh, continued with Rome mainly. Roman gold moved to India like that. Who said? It was said by Pliny. Pliny wrote the book Natural History, you know, well. Okay, like that. So, here this Agnesri Shatakarani's period went well like that, we can say. So, in the western side, Barukacha or Broch. So, Barukacha, Sopra, Kalyani, all these are the seaports that developed. And in the eastern side, Tamralipti, all these, Kodura, Mysolia, all these uh, developed for international trade and commerce like that. It was all said. In the western side and in the eastern side, they developed well, right? So, like that, Yagnasri Shadakarni's period, what happened? Went well. What are the inscriptions given by this one? Chinaganjam Guntupalli inscriptions they are given by. So, this one, like that, it was said. And mainly, so there is a patronized Buddhism. So, Buddhist monk Acharya Nagarjuna lived. Acharya Nagarjuna even introduced different uh, divisions in Buddhism. Yoga, Kara, Vijnanavada divisions. Yoga, Kara division that was introduced by Acharya Nagarjuna. Vijnanavada division that was also. So, there is uh, Arya Deva, one of the Buddhist uh, disciples of. So, there is Acharya Nagarjuna. Arya Deva he was one of the disciples of. So, there is uh, Acharya Nagarjuna. Like that. All these important things went well in the period of this Agnasri Shatakarni like that. It was said. So, Agnasri Shatakarni's period is also important. In last rulers, among last rulers of Shatavahanas, he is also one of the important rulers. So, because Paravatashram. So, it indicates the technology. It's a five-story building like that Fahian said. Who said in the sense Fahian? Fahian said that... This Fahian said that, Fahian said that, this Paravatashram, Paravatashram that is five-story building like that. So, five-story building in the sense technology must be known. So, because in every story, 300 rooms they existed, it is a five-story building. So, if they want to establish a, a foundation, a deep foundation is required for that. So, how this foundation that was laid, how they established things, so that all uh, definitely it indicates the technology. So, like that, Paravatashram indicates the technology in construction. Okay. So, like that today, so we are multi-story buildings we are establishing. But during that time itself, a beautiful uh, so mansion that was established. This is Paravatashram. Paravatashram that is on Nagarjuna Konda. Right? Sri Parvatam, like that it was said. Have you got idea? Like this, all these important points you have to remember in this one. Then, so this especially, so Chinaganjam inscription already, you know well, Prakasham district only. Guntupalli inscription, these two are given by this one only. Chinaganjam, Guntupalli inscriptions. One is Chinaganjam and one is calling Guntupalli. Guntupalli inscription that was also given by, so this one, so that is especially, so already you know. And we discussed with Rome, so trade and commerce, international trade and commerce that well advanced, well developed in the period of, so this one, okay. So, and Roman coins are called how? Roman coins in this period, they are called Dinara Mashakas. Roman coins are called, you have to remember, Roman coins. This Roman coins are called, Roman coins are called Dinara Mashakas. Dinara Mashakas. Roman coins are called have in the sense they are called Dinara Mashakas. Roman coins are called have in the sense they are called Dinara Mashakas that you have to remember. So this Roman gold moved to India like that. It was said by Pliny in the natural history. Right? So like that all these important things uh, so happened. So coins of this period they were found where Gujarat, Katyavar, Baroda, Malwa, Telangana and Madhya Pradesh. So, there is all these regions. Malwa comes in Madhya Pradesh. Baroda, it is famous for Salakshmi Palace located there in Gujarat. Okay. So, in Kathiawar, Gujarat, Kathiawar, Baroda. Baroda also in Gujarat only. Telangana already we know well. So, then after. So, there is Madhya Pradesh also. Madhya Pradesh also. So, these coins of especially Agnasri Shatakarani's coins, they are found. Ship symbol coins. Curtain ship symbol coins mainly they were given. They indicate international trade and commerce. Like this, all these important points, uh, they happened in the period of this one. So, where the coins of this one found in the sense? In these places only, 
all these coins were found that you have to remember. Coins were given by using gold, silver, protein, lead. Protein indicates copper plus tin, protein, right? Gold coins, so highest value. 35 Karshapana is equal to 1 Suvarna. Suvarna is a gold coin. Karshapana that is silver coin. 35 Karshapanas equal to 1 Suvarna. Right? Like that. That is by using lead also coins were given. By using protein. Protein indicates copper plus tin. So like that. Many coins they have. So they are given. So poet Bana in his Harshacharitra mentions the king. Trishamudrad Ishwara. So there is especially who said in the sense, so this poet Bana, who is this Bana? Bana lived in the court of Harshavardhana. Bana Bhatta we are calling. Bana Bhatta wrote the book Harsha Charitra. Bana Bhatta lived in the court of Harshavardhana. This Harshavardhana was the last greatest Hindu ruler who administered complete North India. In the court of Harshavardhana only, this Bana Bhatta lived. Bana Bhatta wrote the book Harsha Charitra. This Harsha Charitra also mentioned this Agnasri Shatakarni as so this was also called Trisamudra Dishwara. Gautami Putra Shatakarni was called Trisamudra Toya Pita Vahana. That is the title of Gautami Putra Shatakarni. Trisamudra Toya Pita Vahana. But here he was called Trisamudra Dishwara. So this Agnasri Shatakarni was called Trisamudra Dishwara. That also. You have to remember. Have got idea? The coins were found in Madhya Pradesh, at the same time in Baroda, in Telangana, so at the same time Gujarat, so in Kathiawar, many places the coins of Yagnasri, Shatakarni, they were found, that you have to remember. So like that, among last rulers, Yagnasri, Shatakarni, he did a lot like that, we can say, he was also a good administrator and patronized Buddhism, then he patronized uh, Buddhist monk Acharya Nagarjuna. So, all these important things uh, they are there in the period of so this Agnasri Shatakarni. So, after this one only, what happened? After this one only, so 28th ruler in this dynasty was 28th ruler in this dynasty, Vijayasri Shatakarni. So, Vijayasri Shatakarni, like that we are calling. So, Vijayasri. This Vijayasri Shatakarni, he only built Vijayapuri at Sri Parvatam, like that it was said. Vijayapuri. Later, this Vijayapuri that became the capital of Ikshvakus. Okay. So, Vijayasri Shatakarni's period, only one important task, only one important incident that took place was, so this establishment of the town Vijayapuri. Vijayapuri. That became the capital of Ikshvaku dynasty later. So like that, Vijayasri Shatakarni, like that we can say. Then Chandasri Shatakarni he came. His coins were found in Andhra region only. Amaravati region and other regions, the coins were found. His inscription was found. So there is especially East Godavari region. Found at Kodavali, like that it was said. His inscription was. So this Chandasri Shatakarni were Okay, Chandasri. He was the 29th ruler in this Shatavahanas. 29th ruler in this was, so this one only. Chandasri, Shatakarni, like that, it was said. So that much importance was not there to, to uh, these two rulers. Vijayasri got uh, that much importance was not there. Only one important point you have to remember, this town especially. Vijayapuri town that was established that you have to. Then the coins of this one found in, so especially this period, Kodavali, East Godavari region only. So the coins were found like that it was said. And the last ruler in this dynasty, Pulamavitri, who is the last ruler in Shatavahanas. Pulamavitri was the last ruler in this Shatavahanas like that it was said. Who is the last ruler in this dynasty? Pulamavitri, he was the last ruler of Shatavahanas like that it was said. The inscription that was given by this one, that is Makadoni inscription. We are calling this inscription, which was given by this is Makadoni. Okay. This is Makadoni rock inscription at Balari region. So at Balari region that was found like that, it was said. He was the last ruler of Shatavahanas, you know, well, who 30th ruler in this dynasty, we can say. He was the 30th ruler. He was the 30th ruler in this dynasty. Okay. So then, uh, 
So his commander in chief was Shantamula. So Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula, like that it was said. Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula. He was the commander in chief of so this Pulama V3. This Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula only what happened. So he got control over all the so things. At this moment, what happened? And the king fled away to Balari region like that. This Pulama V3 fled away to Balari region and ruled from there, like that it was said. So which led? It was he laid Makadavani rock inscription at Balari. Meanwhile, here what happened? So who declared independence? So here this Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula, otherwise he was called Shantamula One. He was called Shantamula One, or he was called Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula. He came to power, and with this Shatavahana dynasty, what happened? That was ended. Shatavahana dynasty that came to end like that. It was said. How many rulers are there in this Shatavahanas? There are thirty rulers in this dynasty. The first ruler was Sri Mukha Shatavahana. The greatest ruler in this dynasty. Gautami Putra Shatakarni, the last ruler Pulama V3. The inscription Mahadoni, Makadoni that was found at Ballari. Ballari comes in Karnataka. Previously, Ballari is part and parcel of C Dead District. Can you, do you know the names of C Dead Districts? Anantapuram, Karnul, Kadapa, Ballari. These are called C Dead Districts. Why they were called C Dead Districts? They are given to the British by this Nizam Ali Khan. Right? So this Ballari. That was one of the districts in Sidi districts. So this ruler Pulamavitri went to Ballari and administered from Ballari for some time. But at last he was dead. Okay. So then who came to power here in the sense? So this Vasisti Putra Sri Shantamula came to power. So like this, all these important points you have to see. Okay. This is uh, all the rulers. In this topic, we have to see again. Administration of Satavahanas, we have to see. So after that, we have to see social conditions, economic conditions, religious conditions, literature, art and architecture, all these areas we have to see in this. Okay? Thank you.